So we're just going to get them to toss it on the closeout. Whatever you teach in terms of hand positioning is fine. I'm a two hand guy. So I'm going to close out with two hands, but it's not stay there. So hips down, hands up. Then my next movement is key with my hand. So as I close out, I want to establish chest to chest, feet wide as there, and hand above ball. So, and that's why I want, for the most part, this two hand mentality, not this. Because when I close out, I'm here, then hand above ball. Sweep it to there, and no, I no, just, yep, the other hip, back. Hand above ball. Why? The modern player, you've all heard this if you watch NBA, hand down, man down. You see kids close out, drop their hands, whoop, and they just shoot it over. So you better make sure you're defending the three-point shot, but also by me having hand above ball, I get now I get a chance to take away a pass. I don't have to get to this. That's actually not taking away a pass. So I've got one hand up, like this. Pass the bottom. There's just no way that I can get there. If I've got hand above ball, make a pass. Make a pass. See what I mean? So sometimes we can read a textbook and go, okay, we need this. What is this actually doing? It's not really doing anything. So I'd rather be more subtle, hand above ball. You're going to catch it and shot fake. Hand above ball, hand above ball. Then you're going to go three chest close and three pop back. Understand what we're going to do? Pop back, pop back. goes for a long way, as you can see. But it's going to be a foul if I'm absorbing that. So what I always move, you come at me. Oh. And you look at the ref, like, you see that? But if you do this and you're climbing during here, that's a foul. So I'm coming, 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 coming. Hey, hey, hey! 